Hello guys, welcome to my latest video. So in today's video we're gonna talk about a classic game that I'm a huge fan of. I'm really a huge fan of classic first-person shooters in general, but one of those big names along with Doom, Duke Nukem, Wolfenstein, Heretic, uh, Star Wars Dark Forces, Shadow Warrior was Blood. As you can see there, I have the original game box to complete. And I'm a huge fan of these games because basically these were the games that I actually played when I was young, when I was a little kid. And um, yeah, they generate a lot of memories inside my head. So I'm a huge fan of these games. So um, basically, as you may know, a couple of years ago, uh, there was, a, 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 I mean, Blood, this game was re-released for uh, GOG and Steam in the name of Blood, One Unit Whole Blood, which was a kind of a compilation of the, uh, you know, of the all the um, expansions of the game. And uh, you could get that, but essentially the game was only the original game, but emulated with the OS box. But now, uh, just today, um, I heard the news about the new release of Blood. It's the same game, but it actually uses a new engine to run the game, so you can run it with modern hardware, and you know the overall graphics look a, a lot better. You can use a lot of effects such as v uh, vertical synchronization, uh, anti-aliasing, and stuff like that. And also the, the overall engine and the overall map of the game works per uh, really good, and, and, it, um, and it doesn't look that pixelated. And also it has a uh, built-in in multiplayer using Steamworks if you're using the Steam version or using the Galaxy uh, network if you're using the GOG, unfortunately. So uh, so I decided to make this video possible to uh, share with you guys. I mean, first, I highly encourage you guys to get the game, the original game uh, from Steam, possibly, because I don't like the idea of GOG uh, forcing you to use the Galaxy, because GOG is supposedly to... I mean, GOG is supposed to be a, a place where you get DRM-free games. So I really hate that a DRM-free um, website that support that actually forces you to use uh, some kind of a proprietary network interface. So that sucks. I mean, if it happens with Steam, that's that's comprehensible, because those guys have been using that method since ever, because it's comprehensible, but GOG, GOG is supposed to be uh, free, uh, I mean, not free the games, I, I actually paid for the game, but the overall, once you pay the game, you should have the liberty, the freedom to manipulate the game as you want, not forcing you to use uh, some, uh, uh, you know, third-party multiplayer platform. So, um... Basically, these are the two computers as ever, uh, as always. Uh, here we have my second computer and my primary computer here. Uh, here we have the game, basically. Uh, the game that I'm going to show you guys, that I'm going to share it to you guys, is the uh, Steam version, uh, because it's the only uh, version of the game where uh, you are able to play multiplayer. If you crack it, you know, I already cracked it with uh, the Steam App E64 from Goldberg. So, um, so yeah, basically it's very simple. You just have to execute the aniket underscore x64 executable here. First time you execute it, obviously it's going to tell you to open the firewall. And we're going to do the same with the other computer. So, um, the overall procedure is very, very simple. Uh, to create a game, we're gonna uh, choose just this computer to create the game, and we're gonna join with this other computer. So we're gonna go into multiplayer here. Uh, we're gonna go and host the game, and there you'll see that your player is gonna be waiting for uh, a, a kind of a room is gonna be created, and the other computer that is connected in the same network should go to multiplayer and obviously join the game. So you just wait a couple seconds until the players just connect. There you can see that the lobby is visible, just hit enter, and both players should be able to, uh, you know, join with, uh, each other. So here you see a player grab itself from Plasma, grab itself from Plasma. So now that you are connected, the computer that's actually hosting the server, which is this one, goes, uh, just click in uh, hidden escape, I mean escape, 
And uh, there you're going to go into new game. And there uh, you're going to choose whatever game mode you want to play. Uh, just, uh, we're going to play a, cop cop uh, a cooperative uh, co-op um, game mode. There you can change the difficulty, the monsters, you know, all the parameters that you want. And also continue. Here you're going to select the map. Uh, this is the, the you know the sagas of the game, um, and there you can see that we are connected inside the same server. So um, <clears throat> as you can see here, I'm moving the player, and there you can see the other player actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, as I told you in the beginning of the video, the, all the novelty about this version is actually the video. Uh, if you go to the display, you know the video settings, you can choose whatever Vulcan or uh, you know OpenGL or DirectX 11. Uh, I have it in Vulcan. Uh, you know the ver uh, vertical synchronization, the first, the, the frames per second, the resolution, obviously the interpolation, display monitor, well, anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion. So all those uh, features are um, new to this version. So, um, if you like this game, I highly suggest you to get the game from Steam. Uh, if you don't want it Steam, just go with GOG. But I highly suggest you that between the two versions, I highly suggest you the Steam version. Because probably it's going to have a, a better player base. And people are bound to have, um, you know, a, a, a more quantity of players playing the Steam version rather than the GOG version. That's just my impression. So, um, I really hope you like this video. Uh, if you want to get the files, just as always, we're going to quit this. As always, go to gravestuffnet.com, uh, register to the forum, uh, wait for the email confirmation, and look for the thread of the game. So, see you next time. Hope you like this video. Bye.